Welcome to Godable, a daily reading of holy texts known in the unification community as Hundukwe. Today we are reading from True Mother, Hak Jahan Moon, an anthology. Book 1, Part 7, Section 5 The Responsibility of Blessed Couples in the Era of Chanil Guk Noble Families of Chanil Guk You receive the blessing through true parents. Hence, you must fulfill your duties as filial and loyal children. In order to do so, however, you should remove all traces of self-centered mindset. I said you are happy people. You are rich people because you are living with parents in this age. However, at the same time, you are also deeply indebted to parents. You must, therefore, repay that debt while you are still on earth. Future descendants will suffer less only if the program's father had planned are accomplished while I am still on earth. Therefore, you must actively support me in accomplishing these set programs. You must lead a strict life of attendance to true parents. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you must first say thank you to parents, offer a bow, and begin your day. When eating breakfast, Offer the first spoonful to parents, saying, Please have some. After work, before you go to bed, you should say, Parents, I will rest now for tomorrow. Please rest well, too. You should live such lives of attendance. You should live with true parents 24 hours a day. Only then can you say you are their children. You should be able to have the heart of a true child. Members in the early days led such lives. You must keep a good standard and live a life of attendance. You stand today in a new historical age and at the center of the Chanyoguk era. If we are to speak in terms used in the secular world, you are noble families. This means you have a connection to the imperial family. If you do not fulfill your responsibilities, the lineage of your noble families will end at the first generation. You must ensure that the family line is carried on in your families and that they become loyal, noble families. What happens when someone says, so-and-so's father and mother were completely dedicated first-generation members, but now the family line has been cut off? This is a serious matter. I established UPA in order to help you. In order to fulfill my mission as true mother, I have led the providence and ensured that it will be carried on by future generations in this way, so that you can reach heaven through the unification community and all of True Parents' work. You will shed tears of gratitude for heaven's great blessings and love. Heaven has prepared a good environment for you, so now the only remaining problem is you. All of you should reflect deeply on this problem once again and make a fresh start as new people. I have come all this way with the hope that you can establish noble families that will remain for eternity in the era of Chanil Guk. You are truly blessed people. The more you offer conditions for heaven, the more heaven will repay you in abundance. It is my hope that you will fully experience all these things in your lives. Because of two parents, you are the first generation of blessed families in history. Thanks to True Parents, you welcomed Foundation Day and have all gathered in a position where you can register as citizens of Chanil Guk. Even though there are 7 billion people in the world, you are the only ones who know of this amazing, universal, and cosmic secret. You are able to be in the happy position of being the ancestors to a new, noble family. You are in the position of the first and last ancestor. You can become a representative of the royal family and form a noble family. Your efforts will decide this. What will you choose to do? It is said that happiness increases if it is shared with others. You should share the things that you know with others. You must inform the world's people. You should reveal the true parents to them. If you take your responsibilities lightly, spending day after day in the same way, You cannot stand in the position of the first ancestor of a noble family. Even though you may be the first now, 
those in the last position may come and take your place. If you do not take part in the providence I am conducting now, you will have nowhere to stand. If you fail to make a good environment for yourself, you cannot become free. Now you can see me up close and you can talk to me. However, what do you think will happen if you die without fulfilling your responsibilities? You all know how your conscience works. You come to understand where you are by assessing yourselves. The longest we can live with our physical bodies is a hundred years, but the place we must go to is eternal. If you are wise and not foolish people, what kind of decisions should you make and how should you act? The external world of today is a world of extreme speed. What I'm saying here now will be connected to the whole world in the blink of an eye. This is how much heaven has developed civilization for us and for all humanity. Hence, please make good use of it. Fulfill your tribal Messiah mission and restore the nation and world. This is the purpose for which you are living today. Only by doing that will your descendants, the second and third generation children, live in joy. Are you keeping the family pledge and practicing it in your lives every day? The family pledge tells you everything you need to know about how to live. Bearing fruit, however, is your responsibility. Only by fulfilling your responsibility can you enter the ranks of the children who took part in True Parents' realm. You should be grateful that I, who raise you and overlook your shortcomings, am here. I also want to praise you in front of our Heavenly Parent. If the people of the United States of this huge country all catch fire, the world will become one. Please become proud Unification Church leaders proud heroes of the United States that attend true parents and practice the word. All religions can unite through true parents. Christianity must learn from us. Only by listening to divine principle teachings and true parents' teachings can you become a citizen of Chanil Guk and realize the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven. If people are still adamant about calling us heretics, then it is their loss. We stand in a position where we possess heaven and earth, and as true parents, son and daughters, we have nothing to fear. We must give the marriage blessing to many people. Once we expand the realm of the blessing, then the tribe, people, and nation can unite. True parents have clearly showed you the way and live their entire lives practicing it. You do not know how glorious a position you stand in, as people who can participate in the realization of Heavenly Parent and True Parent's hope, being born in the same age as True Parents, you stand in a blessed position. If you think about this, you will not be able to sit still. You are younger than I am, yet I cannot help but worry about our future generations. It will not work with just you. You yourselves must prepare for your future descendants. You must raise the second and third generation members. Until now, the first generation members had to work hard with true parents to create a good environment from scratch, and as a result could not invest much in future generations. This is not the case any longer. You must win over all the 7.5 billion people alive today so that they will become Chanil Guk citizens. In order to do this, we must have a safety net. You should raise successors and inheritors. That is why I told you to become noble families. Noble families must raise successors. You should be able to raise sons and daughters greater than father. You must raise devoted children who are greater, more trustworthy, and more loyal than you. You were reborn as blessed families through two parents. You need to feel the tremendous value of this in your daily lives. I know that you have worked hard up until today in many respects in order to contribute to providential history. I am grateful to you. However, you must not be satisfied with that. We must release all the bitter resentment that was caused by fallen humankind in order to truly liberate our Heavenly Parent. 
Fallen human beings have indemnity conditions that they have to establish. I know you have worked hard with dedication for many decades. This is not enough. This spirit of loyalty must be passed on to the next generation. Even that is not enough. How can we comfort our heavenly parent who has been in pain for 6,000 years? We know that path through true parents. True parents are the parents of humankind, so they are compelled to think about all the people of this world. I don't know to what extent you feel this reality. The Lord of the Second Advent and the true parents are not simply the king of one nation. They are the king of kings. They are the true owner of humankind. You have to become citizens of Chanyol Guk, who can be obedient and submit to them. Have the blessed families who were the first to be blessed made effort to accomplish God's will from a position of unity with true parents. You do not know how precious and important it is to be living in the same time as true parents, as true mother, in the present moment right now. You have to fulfill your responsibility as heavenly tribal messiahs. The blessing is not for you alone. You have received the blessing so that you can advance together with all your brothers and sisters around the world. The people in the nations of this world are your brothers and sisters. They are true parents' children. You need to tell them about the path to life. Even at this moment, providential history is advancing in this way. Yet when we think about the many people who are still living according to the traditions and teachings of the past, as they did in the Old Testament and New Testament ages thousands of years ago, we cannot help but be concerned. You can save them with just one word, one action. What are you afraid of? The truth must be revealed. Two parents provide the only way to digest all the problems that are currently afflicting the globe in this age today. If the people of this world recognized true parents and lived according to their teachings, war would no longer be necessary. National borders would no longer be necessary. Religion would no longer be necessary. We are aware of that path, yet how much more do we have to wait? I told you that I will place you in the ranks of filial children and loyal servants. A filial child cannot emerge from a place of comfort. If a person were to claim that he was a filial child while sitting in a comfortable place, even though his own parents were going through hardships, who would recognize him as a filial son? You are in the best position and circumstance of your life. You are in the position of owner. From there, you can become a noble family. Once you are a noble family, your future generations will see your personal history. Whether you fulfill your responsibilities depends on you. It also affects your tribe. When people who should stand at the center fail their responsibility, they go away. You should not become people who have to go away. You all probably want to become part of the Chanyil Guk royal family. However, we cannot have a king without a people. The tribes that you witness to will attend you as a tribal messiah. For this to happen, you must let people know about true parents. How great would it be if each one of you could restore a nation? Such a family is a noble family. It is difficult to live for more than a hundred years with our physical bodies since they are limited. However, our spiritual responsibility is eternal. Father had thought about it. There are more than 200 countries around the world. Imagine some people among you are able to restore one or two countries from among those countries into blessed countries. Father developed the providence to a degree where such things have become possible. You must reflect on the kind of name you want to leave behind in history. Autumn is the season of harvest, the season of fruition. Isn't that what they say? In our unification movement, the Family Federation is the entity that must become the center of this nation as a noble family, the eldest son's family. What do the butler, who takes care of many things, and other staff members of a distinguished family do during this time of harvest? It is the busiest time. In this age of Chanyoguk, 
all of you who are working here at the Korean headquarters represent the eldest son's family. What kind of grain, what kind of harvest will you reap? We are doing many things. Centered on the church, we are doing tribal Messiah activities. While centered on each institution, we are educating and fostering ambassadors for peace and other leaders. WFWP, UPF, YFWP, and CARP are all training the second and third generation members that will lead our future movement. We are doing many things. During this season, how do we harvest people of talent who will influence the future? Grains that have been harvested are saved for the next year in order to multiply the result. We need to care for these people in that way. All the institutions and the church, united towards one goal, must become one. No one can stand against a united front. There are no walls of Jericho in front of us anymore. I told you we must reveal the truth, and the way to do that is to let people know about the true parents. Do you realize that? Neither the president of this nation nor politicians of the world can solve the problems we are facing here in Korea and in the world. This nation must attend true parents. Only through that will the problems be solved. In order to do that, you must harvest well. One for one hundred. Each person must reap and bring a hundred people, a thousand people. We must have that kind of harvest. I heard that you all work at the headquarters. You must all mobilize everything you have, including your wisdom, and ponder how we can pursue our goal and multiply our result by 10, by 100. In this age, your work done with true parents, your result, will pass down for eternity as you work hard. You will become proud. What shall we call you? Proud soldiers. Proud eldest sons or daughters of noble families, I ask that you bring in as much result as you can. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Godable. Tune in tomorrow for a reading on The Role of Women.